No matter what, this is going to be more expensive than you thought. So get over that emotional hurdle right away and you will make a good decision. This is not the point where you want to shy away. So do you want one with a normal remote, one with a smart remote, or one with a bunch of extras that come with it? That's what's in the Flymore Combo extra batteries. There is one difference here though. The Flymore Combo with no smart remote has the 45 minute battery. That is the extended battery compared to the regular 34 minute battery. It does change the weight though. Now it's a little bit heavier. If I only had 20 seconds to talk in this video, the only thing I would emphasize size is that you absolutely get a smart remote. A couple hundred extra. I don't know anybody that owns this thing and regrets it. So I'll talk more about it in a second because I've said it a million times. Two other things I'm really insistent on when you do buy a drone, especially if this is your first one, you will need a second battery. I don't care if it's two or five or 20. As long as you have at least a second, you will be fine. One to charge in the car and the other to use while you're actually flying the drone. Super good news though, the batteries from the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro also fit the Mini 4 Pro. Thank God we don't have to rebuy these if you already have one of those. Flight time would be a little bit less though. The camera is different though, so it does take different ND filters. The other thing is ND filters if you're focused on shooting video. It's just like sunglasses for your camera. It just makes things come out smoother in the end. There's technical reasons for this. The point is that when you film video, you pretty much always want to use these if it's daytime. If you're just having fun though, that's not the end of the world if you don't get those. The Flymore Combo has a battery hub that charges all your batteries. You get extra propellers with either one, but there's just more in the Flymore kit. I'll mention right now, if you're a super nervous Nelly and just think you're going to get struck by lightning, just get DJI Care. It's really well reviewed. People like this insurance and it's not that expensive. So if you crash into the side of the building, you can get a new drone. So while it's getting more expensive, do you want to tack on the extra, I guess, 200 ish dollars for the smart remote, even without the other battery? and without the ND filters, you absolutely do want the smart remote. To get rid of the third variable, which is your phone, adds so much enjoyment to flying a drone. It makes you want to park and shoot everything because you can take off quickly. The experience on the other side is like you have to finagle your phone into this cradle thing. Turn on the controller, turn on the drone, turn your phone on and go to the app. Oh, you forgot to charge your phone battery. Now you have to worry about that. Ignoring calls from the IRS trying to hunt you down while you're flying. The app crashing because you didn't update or something. And then like your phone falls out of the cradle and you got to reconnect everything while your drone's dangling in the air. I'm telling you, it's just a million times easier to have two things to worry about. The screen is huge and it's bright. It's much bigger and brighter than your phone's ever going to be. So you can be outside in broad daylight and you can see what you're doing. You used to have to pay a ton of money for a smart remote and now you can get it for hundreds more instead of like paying an extra 900 or something. So when you're getting a camera that's as capable as the Air 3, and yes, I've put these things side by side, we really are so spoiled at this price point that nobody should be complaining about having to pay an extra couple hundred dollars to get a smart remote with their drone. If you really want to cheap out though, you can, and then you can just use the normal cradle. If you're flying your drone once every like four months or something, then yeah, you can save 200 bucks if it means a lot to you. Otherwise, I just don't see any way to go back after you've had a taste of this thing. It's like a business class ticket on a plane. It's just very hard to go back. So the fly more combo, no matter which control you get, it's going to have a charging hub, three batteries, a bag, some extra props in case you crash your drone into the side of a building. The ND filters, you do have to buy those separate no matter what, but that again, that's a video thing. The most major upgrade on this drone is the camera quality. It now is using the pixel binning, whatever's going on with the Air 3 that makes it look so much better, even though it's also a three quarter inch sensor. It's got better obstacle avoidance as well and some other like fun bells and whistles. But if you absolutely prioritize money and you just, this is the last dollar in your bank account, you could just get a Mini 3 Pro and at this point, Point, they're going to be on discount or you can find them used on Craigslist or something. Used drones are totally a thing. You don't have to be ashamed of having a used drone. I've bought used drones, very expensive ones too, $7,000 for an Inspire 2 used. You can typically tell right away if there's something wrong with the drone. So after you take off the app or even before you take off, it'll tell you if something's up with the battery and people aren't like running out, taking copper wiring from the inside of a drone and then like selling it like half working or something. It's just not realistically a thing. And you find drones everywhere around you used. So wouldn't stress too hard about that. It's okay if you get a mini three pro either way you get a head that turns sideways super cool both of them do hyperlapse tons of features either way you're getting a ton with this drone you will not outgrow it for a really long time short of having the air 3's second camera on it this is a great camera to have on the mini 4 you're basically getting most of the same thing for a little bit cheaper and i, I mean i'm really happy that there's this option once again we're spoiled great time to be in a drones because they can do so much for so little money